Okay, today we're going to be talking about reducing fractions before multiplying, which is an incredibly handy trick anytime you're having to deal with fractions, and especially anytime you're having to reduce fractions. So here we're going to multiply 2 fifths times 1 half, and we'll do it both ways so I can show you the difference. So let's do it the way we're used to, where we just multiply across. So 2 times 1 is 2, and 5 times 2 is 10. Okay, so now we can see we have to reduce this, right, by dividing both sides, or both uh, the numerator and the denominator by 2. Those are both even numbers. And then we get 1 fifth as the answer. Okay, but 2 fifths times 1 half, you could think of it like this. We won't normally write it out like this, because this obviously takes just as much work as the previous example. But think about it like this, okay? We're multiplying it across right here. We're going to put these in the same fraction. Now, if you see the 2 on the top and the 2 on the bottom, um, because we're multiplying, we can actually reduce the 2 and the 2 to 1 over 1. And now we're just multiplying 1 times 1 is 1, 5 times 1 is 5, and you can see we got 1 fifth. And we can do that in a single step. Now here we did it in two steps, just so I could show you um, visually kind of what we're doing. But basically, instead of doing this step right here, we would just take the 2 and the 2 and reduce them to 1 over 1 right here, and then multiply across, and that saves us from having to reduce at the end. Okay, let's work a couple more examples here. So you can see here we have 6 sevenths times 1 sixth. We can reduce the 6 and the 6. 6 over 6 is just 1 over 1. So we can reduce those by dividing both by 6. And now we're just going to multiply 1 times 1 and 7 times 1, and the answer is simply 1 seventh. Okay, for this one, of course, we're going to have to first shape our fractions into improper fractions. So we'll multiply and add. 1 times 3 plus 1 is 4. And then, of course, our denominator is 3. And here our denominator is going to be 8. We're going to do 1 times 8 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So this will be 9 eighths. Now we can multiply. But first we're going to reduce. So we're going to reduce before we multiply. We know that 4 eighths can be reduced to 1 half. And 3 and 9 can both be divided by 3 to make 1 third, essentially, right? I'm thinking about it backwards. You could also say, say 9 over 3 can reduce to 3 over 1. Okay, so that gives us 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 2 is 2. 3 halves, or we could change that into a mixed fraction and say our answer is 1 and a half. One more problem, uh, one more example, and the only difference here is that this is a division problem. We cannot uh, reduce before we divide, but what we can do, of course, the first step anyway, in a division, a fraction division problem, is to multiply, is to switch this to a multiplication problem. And we're going to take the reciprocal of the second fraction. So we're going to multiply 5 sixths times 2 fifths. And now we can uh, reduce before we multiply. So the 5 and the 5 become a 1 and a 1. The 2 and the 6 get reduced to 1 over 3. And now we have 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, and the answer is 1 third. All right, that's it for today.